Hey guys, it's Vishy here. You're watching Nick CP. I'm going to be telling you about black holes in this video. Black hole is a region of space time where gravity is so strong that even electromagnetic radiation, such as light, which has a speed of 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second, can't escape it. It was unknown until the 20th century. In 1916, the Einstein's general theory of relativity came into existence. Using this, the German physicist Karl Schwarzschild calculated that any mass can become a black hole if compressed tightly enough. Nothing comes out of a black hole, but what happens to the things that fall into it? Stars have a massive amount of hydrogen atom. They collapse from enormous gas clouds under their own gravity. In their core, nuclear fusion occurs. Hydrogen splits into helium and it gives out an enormous amount of energy. Energy in the form of radiation pushes against gravity. Therefore, there is a balance between radiation and gravity. In stars heavier than the sun, the heat and pressure at the core allows heavier elements to fuse until they reach iron. The fusion process to generate iron doesn't generate any energy. Iron builds up at the center of the star until it reaches a critical amount. The balance between the radiation and gravity is broken now. Therefore, the core collapses and the star implodes. It moves one-fourth the speed of light, feeds more and more mass into the core. All the heavier elements are created now, hence the star dies. There occurs a supernova explosion and it forms a neutron star. If it was a massive star, the mass of the core collapses into a black hole. In the 18th century, black holes were only a theory. Then the theory of general relativity came in 1915, which was proposed by Einstein. Now scientists had a way to calculate or explain existence of black holes. But it was still theoretical and not so popular. In 1960s, Stephen Hawking popularized the theory of black holes. And in 1971, the first black hole was discovered. The astronomers were studying constellation Cygnus while they discovered the first black hole. Now we can find black holes in the space, not by seeing the black hole itself, but by seeing the behavior of objects around it. Gases and stars behave differently around a black hole. They get affected by the black hole's gravity and give off high energy light, which can be picked up by special telescopes. Accretion disk is a disk of dust and gases which fall towards a black hole and quasars are jets of particles that blast out of a supermassive black hole. Using reverberation mapping, we can find radiation thrown off by a rotating disk of debris around a black hole and it helps pinpoint its location. In 2019, the first image of a black hole was captured by using International Event Horizon Telescope. They captured the black hole shadow as a black hole doesn't reflect any light. In a black hole, all mass has been squeezed into a very tiny space. Smallest black hole was believed to be created when the universe began. Size as a single atom, mass as a mountain. A stellar black hole is one that is created when a large star collapses in, on itself in a supernova. It has 20 times the mass of a sun. And a supermassive black hole lies at the center of every galaxy of our universe. And it has a mass of million suns put together. The supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy is known as Sagittarius A. It has a mass of 4 million suns and it has a size of just a few million Earths. The diameter is equal to the distance between the Earth and the Sun. What would happen if the Sun was replaced by a black hole that had the same mass as the Sun? Would all the planets be sucked into the black hole? As the black hole's mass equals the sun's mass, the gravity does not change. Even though the black hole has the same mass as that of the sun, it would be much smaller 
in comparison to the sun. So all planets would orbit around the black hole, but there would be no heat and no light. So all life in earth would get destroyed. It has been found that the closest black hole to earth is 1000 light years away. A light year is defined as the distance traveled by light in one year. So 1000 light years is not a small number. Hope you have enjoyed the video till now. If so, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for next sapien. Now let me tell you how the first image of a black hole was captured in 2019. The first image of a black hole was captured on April 10th, 2019. It shows plasma orbiting a super massive black hole in the center of galaxy M87. The brightest region was the plasma coming towards us. It travels at the speed of light and it looks bright when it comes towards us and it looks dimmer when it goes away. This is known as relativistic beaming. Scientists have deciphered from the image that plasma is orbiting clockwise around the black hole. Like how Earth takes one year to complete a cycle around the Sun, this plasma takes just two days to complete one orbit. Electromagnetic waves with a wavelength of 1.3 mm radio waves was used because it can show features near the event horizon and it can pass through the accretion disk and the interstellar dust to reach our telescope. The supermassive black hole M87 is very active which means it constantly sucks all the particles and matter from the accretion disk. Quasars of the black hole is due to extreme magnetic field. They extend to at least 5000 light years. The mass of the black hole is 6.5 billion times the mass of the sun and the size is the size of our solar system. Just imagine how big this black hole is. To see this we needed a telescope the size of our Earth. But making a telescope in Earth that was the size of the Earth is not practical, isn't it? So they used eight telescopes placed in the Earth. Scientists simultaneously observed the black hole from all the eight telescopes. As the Earth rotated, it simulated the Earth-sized telescope. They also observed the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy which is a Sagittarius A star. This is much smaller. It has a mass of 4 million suns and it is much less active, which means it periodically sucks up gases and dust. That's it guys. If you like the video, do subscribe Nick Sapien. This is Vishy signing off.